Okay, if, you, if you've already looked at the uh, creating a tire and light wave part 3, this is a continuation of those tutorials and basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a rim and a mag inside of the tire itself. So let's get started. First of all, let's go into the single window view and let's select some polygons here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on this. Make sure polygons is selected. Symmetry is already turned on. So whatever we select on one side, we're going to select on the other. So I'm going to select these going around here. Just a couple. Let's get rid of that one and go to select loop. And I don't want these selected here. Let's zoom out and unselect all of these simply by holding down the mouse button and dragging it over the selected polygons. So here are a few more here. Alright, and what I'm doing here, I'm going to use this as a guide. So hold down the control key and the right bracket key to select out, or the shift key rather, to select out a little further. So we can have a pretty good guide for our rim that we're going to create. Okay. Alrighty. Now let's go into the four window view and go to view. Hide unselected. Alright. Let's go to a different layer here. Let's go to layer two and then select the bottom half of layer one. And it gives you both sides of the selected geometry that we selected from the tire itself. So now let's bring up the disk tool. Go to create disk and infonumeric. Now I've already kind of been working with this, so it's centered in the center of it pretty much, but I want to alter it a little bit. I'm going to Look at this, zoom in on the top view. And let's try to move this over. And we're still in symmetry. Yeah. Start moving both sides. So let's just move it manually. Okay. Now let's go back to four window view. And let's make sure here. Let's zoom in. Okay, let's make this a little smaller. Just hold down the control key and let's grab one of these handles here. Let's size it down just a little bit to give the rim a little thickness there. And let's move this in. Take your finger off the shift key. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now, commit to that by hitting the space bar and make sure that we have polygon selected. Select the polygon. Select B for bevel. And let's just use this single window view here. So I can work a little bit more efficiently. Okay. And I am beveling this out. Right click. Bevel again. I'm going to put like a little angle on this. Oh, just a little bit. Bevel again. Let's bring that one straight up. Let's put a little ledge on our um, rim here. Let's 
and it's right click and bevel again. Right clicking allows you to bevel uh, without going to the multiply tab. So I'm going to bring this all the way over to the edge of the tire. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and commit to that by hitting the space bar. And let's go to quad view. Let's rotate this around. And let's get rid of that geometry while it's already selected. Let's hit delete. Okay. Now, we no longer need to look at the hidden image there in the back as a guide. But well, let's do one other thing here. Let's all the geometry is facing toward the um, facing in the opposite direction. So select the F key to flip all all of that geometry. Let's zoom in on it. And this is kind of what I was shooting for. Let's hit the tab key to kind of smooth it out. And let's turn the um, select everything and let's go to view and unhide okay now there you go Let's zoom out so we can see the rim a little better and that, that, that looks pretty good to me alrighty now the next thing we need to do let's uh, create a mag um, uh, a mag on the inside of it so let's unselect the first let's select the, the rim there we're going to use that as a guide and let's select layer 3 and then select the lower half of the rim so we can actually create the um, mag in there and on the inside of it create the mag on the inside of the rim all right here okay let's um, select the uh, let's go to the single view again and let's zoom out on that a little bit and let's create our mag here okay, let's go to create spline draw and we're going to place it right in the middle it's going to be like a deep well um, mag rim Okay, so well, let's just place it right in the place it right in the center. So see the dark line running in the center. So go so go right in the center of that. I'm gonna draw something like uh, let's see. Okay, to give this a little curvature. Give the mag a little shape there. All right. Okay, let's commit to that by selecting the tool itself. We're going to zoom in on it so we can fine tune it. Control T so we can move individual points. I know it doesn't look like a mag now, but just bear with me. It will. Okay. Now let's make sure that we have this point. Oh, let's select the point. Go into points mode. Select the point. V for set value. And if you look in the Y, let's set that on the Y. Click OK. And it's pretty close to Y already, if not on Y already. So let's zoom out and let's deselect the point by selecting the space bar. We'll put it back on points because the space bar actually toggles the point mode, so you have to be careful because remember you have to go to the gray area here to deselect it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a single window, a single window view again. And then we're going to mirror this selection that we've got here. And how to do that, you just go to multiply. Remember multiply means you're going to have more geometry. So I'm going to mirror the Y and it creates the same exact uh, the same exact thing on the opposite 
of the center axis here. So I'm going to zoom out and go to the full window mode. It's kind of big. Let's size that down again. Let's size that down a little bit. Uh, let's go to um, modify and size. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, 